Africa and her children. We thank the Most High God for blessing us with a beautiful day. So today we're going to be talking about compacting. Okay, Compacting is a very simple step that you take in your, um, your foundation phase. But um, it's very essential that you get it right, all right? Because if you don't, then, you know, ones, you know, you could build all the way to the finishing, but eventually, and not too far um, down the road, you're going to be facing issues, um, possibly cave-ins with your foundation, all right? Once you start putting weight on your foundation, you're going to start hearing hollow noises, and before you know, your building is caving in and you're going to have to do everything all over again. All right, so you don't want to go through this. So you want to make sure that your home is well compacted, uh, your foundation is well compacted before you follow any steps. Um, you, you follow through with any other steps, all right? So make sure that this step is taken seriously, as simple as it may seem, and um, you know, make sure it's done properly. That's pretty much it. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, compacting. So what is soil compacting? So essentially, soil compacting is um, the practice of applying mechanical compactive efforts to densify the soil by reducing the void, um, you know, in the soil. To put it in simple terms, it's, you know, you're going to be pushing the soil tightly together. Um, to create or increase the density of the soil so that it can hold up um, more weight, all right? So think about it this way. You put a bunch of um, beach sand, you know, just shovel it up and put it together. When you step in it, your foot is more than likely going to penetrate and go deep into it, right? So when you think of the same scenario, but this time around, um, you have compacted it. You've put a lot of pressure, maybe, maybe your foot, put all that pressure into it. So now it's harder, all right? So when you step on it, your foot does not penetrate the soil anymore because you've already done all of that, um, put all of that force on it previously to make sure that the soil is tightly, um, or the particle is tightly pushed together, all right? So that's essentially what you're doing when you are, um, when you fill your foundation with laterites or soil and you compact it. So the whole point of compacting is to push all that soil together, make it nice and solid and tight before you take any other steps. A badly compacted um, soil is only going to uh, be a bad foundation, you know, for your home. Um, it's prematurely going to cave in at some point, you know, when heavier set of weight is placed on that foundation, you're going to hear like hollow noises underneath your feet. Um, and in the worst case scenario, it's just going to cave it, all right? It's going to break and the whole point of your foundation will be useless, all right, at that point, because now you have to break everything and try to fix it up again. And you don't want that to happen you know, after you've already constructed your home and you're living in it, all right? So that's why it's very important um, that you take this uh, step seriously and make sure that a proper job is done before you seal the foundation up, all right? So the type of um, compact is that you would usually see in um, building homes, uh, would be the uh, the plate compactor or the roller. They have different size. In my case, I use the plate compactor. Okay. Now, if you're using um, the roller, it, it, it carries more weight. All right. So the difference between using the plate compactor and a roller, um, at the end of the day, it comes down to how the, the quality of work it can do, right? So the roller, um, the smaller size roller, or even the bigger size roller, will put more weight on there. So it will be nightly and firmly compacted, all right? In my case, I use the plate because that's the, the most that you'll find available um, to you 
you know, in whatever area you might be. Not saying that the rollers are not going to be available. They are available, but they are not as common to find as the plate ones. The plate will do get the job done. Only difference is you would have to do more passes, you know, go back and forth many, many times to make sure you get that same firmness or density that the roller um, compactor would give you. All right. So I did use a plate, as you see in my video, and, you know, the, the guy would have to spend all day just going back and forth, depending on the size of your home. You know, if it's a very, a very small scale um, type of home, then, you, you know, you're not going to be spending all day doing that. But if it's a bigger um, size home, then obviously you would need more time to complete that work. So in, in my case, you know, we did use a plate compactor and he did spend all day over there uh, going back and forth, you know, many, many times to make sure that we got a good compaction. All right. Now, there are ways that you can test the compaction that you have. Um, it's not common, especially when it comes to homes, it's not common to find um, people doing tests. Maybe if you have a good developer, um, they might have those uh, the right tools to do the testing. All right. Um, in my experience, we used to do uh, with an airport construction, we used to do um, coring. All right. That's where they, they would bring in equipment to drill a hole in the compacted areas. And then that will be taken to their lab um, to test the density, you know, and how tightly put together the, uh, the the soil is, all right? So it can either be a pass or a fail, but they test it based on percentages. And in construction, usually they're looking for 95% or more um, compaction to give it a pass, all right? So, but when it comes to home, um, constructing your homes, it's a small scale, you know, you don't have a, airplane about to taxi or land on your home so those kind of tests are usually not done all right but it's something that you can do if you have the means um, to make that happen now the process of um, compacting is is fairly simple so after the filling has settled you know settled in you meaning you've put a lot of uh you know, there's been, I was blessed in my situation. There was a lot of rain um, fall during the time that we did the filling. So um, the soil was able to settle on its own without me, um, you know, having to water it every day and whatnot. So after it has settled, you basically wait for the soil to dry out. You know, sun comes out, it dries it out. Everything seems nice and solid. You can walk on it, do jump, whatever you want to do on it and you don't feel any type of you know sinking all right and once that is done uh, we bring the guys in with their compactor and once they get over there we're going to level everything out all right all the soil that's on the um, foundation is going to be leveled out so you see in my video that guys you know standing around with pickaxe uh, digging up areas that are sitting higher and using shovels to kind of level it all out, make it nice and even. And then the compactor will come after that um, and push the soil much deeper into the ground to make sure everything is nice and even. Now, it's not going to come out 100% um, leveled unless you put in all that work um, to make sure you can make it as level as much as you can. Thank you all for joining me this time, and I'll see you next week.